the top 10 most important historical comics and most valuable DC comics of the year 1963 based on their price guide rankings in the Overstreet Annual Price Guide for near mint copies. We have 10 books in the top 10 that are all now worth $1,000 or more in near mint 9.2 raw grade. Let's jump into the list. Number 10 of the year, Our Army at War 128. This issue is the first appearance of Sergeant Krupp and the origin of Sergeant Rock. Cover art by Joe Kubert and interior art also by Kubert and Irv Novick. There is a Savannah pedigree copy that grades 9.4 this book. It's the number 10 book of the year and the 102nd most valuable DC comic of the entire decade of the 1960s. War comics generally are overlooked by many collectors. And so most of these are now rare, especially in high grades and very scarce on the CGC census. Here we see there's only 46 copies graded in all conditions combined. There are only six copies ranking 9.0 or higher on the census. Heritage Auctions has sold only 12 copies of this book since the year 2000. That's not even one a year. Really nice uh, cover, bold orange background, 12 cent cover price, Superman DC logo in the top left corner. Using the Overstreet Annual Price Guide, for every year and every condition, we can see the growth of this book. And you can see that this book has basically stalled for the last five years in all conditions. Why is that? Well, it's still a rare book, but I think it's hit a, a price plateau where people feel like it's kind of an expensive book now. So it's going to sit here at the $1,000 mark for a while. Still only $38 in low grades. You can see that's a huge split. So a near mint copy is worth about 25 times that of a good copy. On the CGC census overall, we have one 9.4 and three 9.2s. Number nine comic of the year is Flash 137. It's the first full appearance in the Silver Age of the original Golden Age Justice Society of America superhero team. They return in this issue, and this is their first real appearance since 1951. So most kids growing up reading comics in the 60s had never even heard of this team. And here they're brought back. The Justice Society decides to reform on this issue. And the Flashes of Two Earths have to team up to rescue the Justice Society. So this is a major historic issue in the development of the DC universe. We have Carmen Infantino art on this issue and Murphy Anderson inked the cover. This was on the newsstands the same time as Amazing Spider-Man number three from Marvel. This is number nine of the year, number 96 of the decade for DC. On the CGC census, you can see there's almost 500 copies graded, 47 9.0s or higher, and Heritage has sold 91 copies since 2000. Classic battle cover, pinkish background. In the Overstreet Price Guide, slow but steady growth in all conditions. This is now a $1,075 book in high grades. You can see in the last eight years, uh, it's only had about 20% growth, not massive. Already an expensive series. This is DC's probably most collected Silver Age title. So it's been expensive for a long time already. On the census, there are six 9.6s and seven 9.4s. Ranking number eight of the year is Justice League of America, number 21. This is the first Justice League and Justice Society crossover issue, starting a long tradition in the DC universe. It's the first Silver Age appearance of Our Man and Dr. Fate. Art by Mike Sikowski. There is a CGC 9.2 Pacific Collection pedigree copy. This issue features the classic team. We've got Green Lantern, Green Arrow, Flash, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Martian Manhunter, and The Atom. Print run, print run estimated at 340,000 copies. This was one of DC's best-selling titles. It ranks number four, uh, sorry, number eight of the year and 63rd of the decade. On the census, we have over 500 copies now graded, but 54 high-grade copies, 115 sold by Heritage. We got the whole gang on the cover, even Batman and Superman are here. In the Overstreet Price Guide, again, slow, steady growth in all grades. It's now a $1,350 book. On the census, there are two 9.8s and 14 9.4s of this classic key issue. 
Number seven, Metal Men number one. They finally get their own ongoing series here, starting with this issue. And they had originally appeared in Showcase 37 with their first appearance. It ranks number seven of the year, 54th of the decade. There are 416 copies graded, 47 high grade copies. Heritage has sold a lot of these, 151 copies in fact. Got the whole team on the cover. In the Overstreet Price Guide, this book has stalled. Um, this is now a $1,550 book. And it's been stalled for the last four years in all grades combined. On the census, we can see there is a 9.8 and nine 9.6s. Next on our ranking is number six. This is a surprise book you might not expect to find here. It's the first appearance of James Bond in comic books in North America. And that happened with the movie adaptation of Dr. No in showcase number 43. We've got Sean Connery even pictured in the book. And we've got Bob Brown cover art. There is a Savannah Pedigree collection copy that grades at 9.6. Number six of the year, 49th of the decade. Only 218 copies graded, 24 high grade, 58 at Heritage. Nice sci-fi action cover. In the Overstreet Price Guide, nice, slow, but steady growth. It had stalled for a few years, but it's just starting to pick up again. It's now a $1,600 book in high grade. And on the census, there are two 9.6s and four 9.4s. House of Secrets, number 61, ranks fifth of the year because it is the first appearance and origin of Eclipso. We have Lee Elias cover art on this book. Print run estimated 194,000 copies. It's the 14th most val valuable DC horror comic ever. And ranks fifth of the year and 47th of the decade for DC. The mystery sci-fi horror title kind of wandered through genres a bit over the years. There are 184 copies graded, only 10 high grade copies. Heritage has only sold 34 of these. And nice steady growth every year on this book at all grades. Now it's a $1,650 book. On the census, there are four 9.4s and three 9.2s at the high end for that book. Well, here's a fun one. In fourth place, we have Batman 155. This is the first Silver Age appearance of the Penguin ever since the Golden Age. This has been a long break. Characters finally brought back to a new generation. Sheldon Moldoff cover and interior art. Vicky Vale also appears in this issue. Print run estimated at 410,000 copies, one of DC's best-selling titles at the time. Ranks fourth of the year and 37th of the entire decade. There is a whopping 623 copies graded, including 40 high-grade copies. Heritage has sold 66. A fun penguin and dragon cover. Huge growth on this book in recent years. Lots of demand. This has been a really good investment book. In the, just the last eight years alone, the book has gone up two and a half times. And in high grade, look at this, the buy book has skyrocketed even in the last year, starting to jump $500 in a single year. And on the census, we have two 9.6s, five 9.4s of this book. Next on our list is Aquaman number 11 in third place. It's the first appearance of Mira, features Nick Cardi cover artwork. It's number three of the year, 28th of the decade, Print run estimated at 226,000 copies. Lots of demand, especially with the Aquaman movie. It came out and that skyrocketed prices and demand for this title and all the key characters. So this book has jumped way up to 406 copies graded, but there's still only four high grade copies. Super hard to find in any decent condition. Black background cover doesn't help. Heritage has sold 49 copies. And look at this growth in the Overstreet Price Guide. In the last seven years alone, the book has gone up at least seven times its price in low grades and 10 times its price in high grades, leaping to $2,600. And just think a decade ago, you could have bought it for 200 bucks. On the census, there is only a 9.4 and a 9.2, very tough in high grade. Continuing our rankings, number two of the year is Flash 139. 
This is the first appearance of Professor Zoom, also known as Reverse Flash. Lots of hype for this book because he appeared numerous times in the Flash TV series of the last decade. So lots of demand for this. It's the origin of the villain. Cover art by Carmen Infantino. This issue was on the newsstands at the same time as Amazing Spider-Man number four. Ranks number two of the year and 18 of the entire decade. On the census, really going nuts. Over 1,100 copies created, 35 high-grade copies. Heritage has sold 103. Classic cover of the two different flashes here. And again, huge growth in the Overstreet Price Guide. Uh, just in the last eight years alone, you can see the book has gone up about seven times in low grades. And then in high grades, it's also jumped up about seven times, leaping in the last decade, 500 bucks to already $3,400 for high grade copies. On the census, there are five 9.6s and six 9.4s, which brings us to the number one most valuable and historically important DC comic of 1963. It is, surprisingly, My Greatest Adventure number 80, the first appearance of the Doom Patrol with art by Bruno Primiani. It's also the origin story. Print run estimated 175,000 copies of this book. Number one of the year and ranking very high at 15 of the entire decade. There is a 9.6 CGC Western Pen Pedigree copy of this book. The census is still growing, but still a lot rarer this book. Only 475 copies graded, 19 high-grade copies. Heritage has sold 108. In the Overstreet Price Guide, we see the growth has been steady every year, always movement in every grade. And most valuable book of the year, but still only $136 in low grade if you want to snap up a low grade copy. Now $3,800 for raw 9.2 copies. On the census, there are three 9.6s and two 9.4s. Now let's look at the top 10 books of the year and rank them based on how many copies are on the CGC census, which are the common ones, the most demand, and which ones are surprisingly the rarest ones. So if we look at which ones have the most copies graded in general, it is Flash 139, the only book to have over a thousand copies graded. After that, the stats fall quickly. Batman 155 is in second place with only 623 copies, followed by Justice League 21 with 518. As expected, Our Army at War 128 is way at the low end with only 46 copies graded because it's not a superhero book. So less people uh, jumping on war titles. Other than that, the one with the least copies graded is House of Secret 61, the first appearance of Eclipse. So looking at the highest end of the CGC census, you can see that by luck, Two of the books actually have 9.8 copies, Metal Men 1 and Justice League 21. After that, pretty well every book has a 9.6, except Aquaman 11 does not. So it's kind of the rarest one for the high end on the census. The top 10 most valuable DC Comics of 1963. This series continues every week. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel.